It's called Soji. It's called Soji. For sexual orientation, sexual orientation and gender identification. And gender identification. A curriculum that teaches public <laughs> sexual orientation and gender identification to celebrate the homosexual lifestyle. And that gender is God, I'm so fed up. In other words, your gender is not dependent on what parts you were born with, but rather what you feel like in the moment. People that are boys. You know, actually, it's very interesting because the U.S. did a research. They spent like three billion dollars on this research, and I, and I will pull that video up. Look at look at the research, and, and, and this research ability was about. Is there a gene or a homosome or, or a DNA in a man and a woman okay, that causes a man to like a man? Or that is in a woman that causes a woman to be attractive, sexually attractive to another woman? And the answer was no. We found out that it, it, it is actually there's a hormone or DNA that is in a man, okay, that causes a man to have a sexual attraction towards a woman. And it's also found out that in a woman, there's a hormone, there's a DNA that causes a woman to have a sexual relationship or to have a sexual attraction towards another man, which is key because that is how nature exactly was designed since the day of exception let's go let's listen to this um sexual orientation and danger identification you know what i'm saying in canada this is another way in canada look at this look at this imagine teaching this in saudi arabia imagine teaching this in indonesia imagine teaching this in songs like the rainbow song gender won't decide the choices we make curriculum started in British Columbia in 2016 and is quickly spreading throughout Canada. I just thought, who decided that this was okay to teach yes, our children? Author that? and inspirational speaker, look Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson, look is a leading voice against the Soji Thompson, curriculum. Look at my, my and we are seeing the results of that now because some kids are reacting very emotionally and saying, you know, and they're in fear. Will I be you know, will I suddenly struggle with feeling like a different gender inside of my body? Carrie Simpson of Culture oh Guard, God. another leading opponent, who sold calls the North curriculum America nothing short the devil. of child abuse. Who All those bought, beautiful qualities that make young girls beautiful Canada girls and women are, are being basically vilified. The, the things that the make our boys boys are being, you know, taken Just from look. them. Um, so things of equating young men to being strong protectors is something that's now evil. But Morgan O'Shea, a transsexual and supporter, claims it's about acceptance, not indoctrination. The idea is to teach kids that there are gay kids and there are trans kids and there are trans parents and gay parents in our society and, the, and everybody is wanted and desired. After all, that's what our human rights code says and it's the role of school. This is also very interesting in my um, it's very interesting why people say human rights, human rights, international human rights, international human rights, international human rights. But really is a sexual right. Okay? What is the point of a human right when in a country where let's be honest, that in a country where white supremacy is upheld or, or, or black people are suppressed and you're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with the issue of gun violence. We're not dealing with the issue of um, um, every single day black people rising and saying black, black lives matter, black lives matter, whatever. And here you come in and say, hey, 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 whatever. Oh my God, um, this thing LGBTQ, whatever will help deal with this thing. Look at that, SOGI, S-O-G-I, sexual orientation, gender identification. We. <laughs> This is interesting. There was a study also done by a former guy in McDonald where he said, you know what? Um, let's target the kids. And he started putting toys in every McDonald's stores. And the sales went up. Why? Because kids, they leaked toys to McDonald's. And that research shows that 
every single brand that Kim saw in his mind, it was he, they could not recognize any brand aside from McDonald brand. It's actually important how kids in this video that you will watch. Imagine a kid of five years old, seven years old. This is your son. This is your daughter being teaching about sexual orientation, gender identification from that age. From that age, it will never ever be erased in your subconscious mind. It will be deep rooted in the subconscious emotional mind, which will affect him to make decision at the early age. And this is why the Matrix has uncovered this truth that they're using against your kids and their people. They're giving kids more power than the parent. Watch what this guy has to say, this trans man has to say. And remember, trans man, <laughs> and remember, trans woman, not woman, trans woman are men. To teach, the, to teach the following of our laws, right? Simpson disagrees, saying she sees Soji's real goal as altering our culture from a heteronormative society into one where anything goes, no boundaries, no values, no boundaries, no, no values, um, no morals. There's uh, a hidden agenda behind every implying. agenda. Another glaring Look example: drag queen story time. Oh it's God. happening in Canada and America, where some public schools and libraries invite drag queens, some dressed like drag dwarf queens. demons to read to young children and it's a social deconstructionist agenda they're using children little five-year-olds to accomplish this and parents are waking up and saying no all parents you must wake your ass up wake up wake up wake the fucked up wake the fucked up stop playing wake the fucked up asked about parents rights oj says well, actually, in Canada, parents' rights are limited, and children's rights are put ahead. So the child has the right to be protected from the parents when the parents behave badly. Canada is known as one of the most gay-friendly countries in the world, with many of Canada the largest is cities gay country the world, their most own friendly. gay villages, like here in Vancouver, which has literally rolled out the Rainbow Road. Oh most my God, gays, Canada. like village resident Dave Davy DiCarlo, support Soji and limiting parental rights. The change that we have to see is sometimes the parents and the kids are doing actually really okay. Oh my God. This is very scary stuff. Long time very scary Cooper stuff for real. Kevin Cavanaugh says this is far more serious than most Canadian Christians realize. Our problem is not the teachers, the educators, the administrators. This is a battle in the heavenlies. He says Satan is going after their most vulnerable the children. The children. Let the children come to Jesus Christ. But Jesus said, let the children come to me. Jesus said, y'all, let the kids, let the kids come to me, Jesus Christ, and I will give them rest. Because the teacher had told her since she was playing with some toys in the class that were deemed to be masculine in nature that she was likely a boy in a girl's body. The <laughs> hear that he's saying that a lady was caught I'm sorry that a lady was caught playing with toys and the teacher came to her and told her hey listen with man toys specific and the teacher came to him and said hey listen Oh my God. And instead of having any sort of tolerance or support, or the mother went to the school the very next day, likely a boy Let me rewind. was playing with some toys in the class that were deemed to be maskers because the teacher had told her since she was playing and the little little girl came home and Satan is going after their most vulnerable. Let me rewind children. for y'all so you can listen. And the little, little girl came home in tears because the teacher had told her since she was playing with some toys in the class that were deemed to be masculine in nature that she was likely a boy in a girl's body. The mother went to the school. Imagine telling him that you kid. Imagine. Have you ever heard about the story of Thomas Edison? About he was sent with a letter, stamped, he could not open it. 
and it was told to give this to your mother. And that letter was low, and that little letter was wrong. Your child is mentally retarded, he cannot read and write. I suggest you look for another school to your child. Thank you. And it was signed by a principal. Okay. And it's a few years later when Thomas E. Edison became the world's greatest scientist, he happened to saw that letter and he cried and he said, My mother made me a genius who I am today. Why? Because immediately after the mother wrote that letter, her mother said, Hey, listen, the letter is saying that you're a genius and this school doesn't have the capacity to handle and accommodate a genius like you. So the mother began slowly and slowly educating his own child because he believed that his son is a genius and slowly and slowly it was affirmed in his subconscious mind that he is a genius and he became the world's greatest top inventor in the whole world. I imagine if he, your daughter coming to school and he, I'm sorry, she, just playing with toys, made full name, okay, the teacher comes to her and telling her, hey listen, hey listen young queen, you are supposed to be a boy, you're a boy in a body, in a woman body shape, what do you think will that do to your daughter 30 years from now, <laughs> it will torment her, serious trauma. Let's continue back to the video. School the very next day, and instead of having any sort of tolerance or support or understanding, she was actually called names. She was told that she was a homophobe, that she was a bigot. With that in mind, Tyler Thompson, Simpson, and Pastor Kevin are spreading their message across social media and in town hall meetings. The pro-gay backlash has been fierce. And the hatred and the anger and the bullying that came against us even though we said we love you we don't uh we don't take from you the opportunity and the freedom to live as you choose we love you but we do not agree with you pastor kevin believes canadian christians are in a second chronicles 20 moment the word was this this battle is not yours jehoshaphat this battle is the lord's and the church is beginning to prepare for what it takes to fight for our kids. The battle between an aggressive homosexual agenda Tender. and the faith community here in Canada is far from over. But many Christian leaders say it may be the issue that causes a one sleeping church to rise, rise up, up and be heard. When the church Brandon, rise CBN up News, and be Vancouver. heard. Church rise up and be heard. Stop playing. Especially the Catholic Church, you have failed in this fight. You have failed in this fight. All these churches are rising, the Muslims are rising, the Jews are rising, and say, Hey, listen, this is enough. Enough is enough. We are not going to be tolerant with this any single more. You can live the way you want to live, you can choose your right as your sexual identification is, but please don't impose it with my child don't impose it with my son don't impose it with my children don't impose it with my daughter you do you you do you and us we do us respect we respect much love